How can the Irish state improve its response to biodiversity loss? That was the key question that the 99 members of the world's first Citizens' Assembly on Biodiversity were asked last year. And after listening to presentations from over 80 leading experts and deliberating about the matter for months, the number one answer the citizens came up with was that the state needs to wake up and properly enforce all of the existing biodiversity-related legislation and directives and it needs to adequately fund, resource and hold to account the agencies and state bodies responsible. We're 100 citizens that are drawn from all over the country and um, we all have different backgrounds, different um, age profile, uh, great geographical representations throughout the country so it was great to meet other people and to get their experience of biodiversity and the, and the natural world that we live in. The citizens made 159 recommendations in all, spanning energy, agriculture, peatlands, wetlands, marine and much much more. What also stands out to me is the citizens were willing across all their individual lives to pay just a little bit more tax because that's how much they valued biodiversity after this process. One of the key recommendations is for a constitutional referendum to insert biodiversity and nature protection into the constitution and confer substantive and procedural environmental rights for people and for nature. The positive thing about biodiversity is that it is possible to change it and people can make a difference individually in their own back gardens, with their local communities, with their local authorities and um, this is something we can all join forces on. The Chair of the Citizens' Assembly, Dr Evie Nisulavon, describes the 159 recommendations in this report from this Citizens' Assembly as a call to action for all in society and for all sectors to re-examine our practices and how they impact on biodiversity. George Lee, RTE News.